Hi there, it's Baz at Go Ukulele with another instrument review. Um, sorry about the messy office surroundings. <laughs> uh, this is a new one to me. It's a name I've heard of, but not one that I've actually played. Uh, and it's from a ukulele company called Lanny. Um, sounds suitably Hawaiian, doesn't it? Made in China, though, uh, and distributed and pulled together by a company based in Clackheaton in West Yorkshire, so that'll keep some of my Yorkshire buddies uh, happy. Uh, and it's quite a pretty thing. Um, this is the Lanny LC 55 M O C E Q. So nice complicated name. So let's just break that down a little bit. Uh, the C, I don't know what the L stands for. The C stands for concert. This is a concert scale instrument. 55 is the series, the trim series, which dictates how many tweaks and bells and whistles it has. Uh, the M O, I believe, uh, is what they use for what this is, which is quilted mango uh, is laminate but quilted mango you can see it better on the back it's quite pretty actually um, kind of stripy and flamey nothing over the top but, but I quite like it uh, and the C means that it has the cutaway and the EQ means it's got an active pickup system inside it provided by Belcast but more on that later so Satin finish, flawless actually, some marks up around the top here, nothing major, um, no bubbles, cracks or anything like that, uh, nicely put together really, uh, satin finish, it's a very yellowy looking colour, I wasn't aware mango looked that colour but there we are, um, flat, completely flat on the back, um, back and sides, uh, sides single piece, um, yeah, it's all right. Uh, quite like it. Feels solid, not too heavy. Um, looking inside, not overly braced. Uh, quite neatly done, actually. The laminate does look a little bit thick to me compared to some of the good laminates that I like. So we'll see how that uh, affects the tone a bit later on. We've got an inlaid perloid sound hole rosette, which is nice and pretty. Fairly standard tie bar bridge with a plastic saddle um, yeah it's it's all right I'll do the electrics last so we'll move on to the neck now which is a hardwood neck with a joint at the headstock and a joint at the heel um, and a rosewood fingerboard which is really nicely finished actually nice uniform color smooth fret ends nice profile a little bit of chunk to it which I, which I like fairly standard nut width We've got uh, 14 nickel silver frets down to the body and a total of uh, 19. And perloid markers at the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 10th and 12th. Sadly, no player side markers. Um, but other than that, fairly standard. Uh, fairly standard shape looking headstock with the Lane uh, logo there screen, screen printed on. Um, and a lady's face. Oh, it's pretty. Uh, unbranded, pretty cheap, low-end uh, geared tuners. Uh, these are kind of akin to what you see on a Makala Dolphin. And those buttons are far too big for my liking. Mickey Mouse ears on a ukulele. They're massive. They're white plastic. Um, and there we are. Uh, pickup system, as I say, that's a Bellcat. It's got an inbuilt tuner on it, tone control, volume control. Um, my readers know what I think about uh, inbuilt systems. Um, I'd much rather a passive. Um, the other thing I don't like about this is the jack socket is here. Now, some people do like that, as opposed to it being here. The only reason I don't like that there is that that jack socket is screwed onto the thin side of the ukulele. There's a tail block inside here. By putting the jack socket there, um, you, you've got more strength. Now. Why is that a concern? Well, if you trip over the cable with the cable plugged and it pulls that way, you're going to rip a hole in the side of the instrument. Very unlikely to do that if it's screwed into a thick piece of wood at the base. Um, so, what does it cost? £105, so pretty good value um, at the lower end. Uh, better than a bargain basement. You put £105, you kind of... Uh, 
just more expensive than the Macala concerts with electro pickups in them uh, and the Brunswick's of which I think this is better um, but you've also got um, I think you can get a decent Carla, um, the golden acacia laminate with a pickup in it for about 120 so that's what it's up against really um, how's it sound well setup wise action at the nut and action at the saddle would just as I'd like it I'd probably take the saddle down a touch but only a touch um, this of a strum. It's quite quiet. That's the first thing that jumps out at me. And I think that's because of the thick laminate. These are look like a, the new Aquila nail guts, which should give it some power, but I've heard louder instruments, that's for sure. Still just going out of tune a little bit, which is odd because I've had this on test for a while and played it quite a bit. Uh, which is, um, I think that's a for you. Um, let's just get that back in tune because the intonation is pretty good, but not quite bang on. flat up to this end um, and with the action set correctly uh, that's a bit of a worry um, but on the whole you know 105 quid uh, this is better than a lot of junk that's out there um, it's a nice full featured package I'm not blown away by the quality of the, the pickup system but it's good to go uh, it's not overly heavy because it uses the, uh, the cell type batteries as opposed to the big nine volt jobs um, yeah I mean this this would get you plugged in and going straight away I'm just probably a little bit disappointed with the acoustic tone quid I think there are better laminates out there um, things like the Baton Rouge uh, Sun model which I raved about in the snail um, equally there are far better uh, far worse instruments out there for this money so it's it's up there in a in a you should it should I guess to try it if you see it in the shop pick it up you might love it uh, I like the way it looks I like the way it's built um, there's nothing really wrong with it it's it just doesn't um, blow my socks off. Uh, yeah, the Lanny LC55 MOCEQ uh, from Cleck Eaton <laughs> by way of China. Um, just check out the other Lanny range. The catalogue I've got here just shows you that they do make some pretty stunning looking um, glossy solid woods. Ooh, some nice stuff in there. Um, this is one of their entry levels, so I shouldn't be expecting wonders for it. Uh, but it's worth a look, I think. <laughs> 